My name is Divine Ibem. I am married. I'm 25 years old. I gave birth to my beautiful baby girl on the 25th of September 2019. And uh, my baby's name is Davina Daberichi John. She is four months plus. It wasn't planned because uh, um, we're engaged for, uh, for a few months before it happened and it happened and okay and um, although I was kind of um, scared and skeptic about it but my partner was was um, strong about it and happy about it so growing up I always wanted to um, get married on time I'd always seen myself getting married um, before or within the age of 25 uh because i would always say uh my mom gave my mom gave birth early and she's looking so young i really want to be like, like my mom you know i'm looking so young and all her children all grown up and all so i'd always wanted to get married early i was actually confused because i wasn't expecting it at that i wasn't expecting the child at that moment and it was quite overwhelming because we were planning a wedding in a few months time and I was so scared of breaking the news to my family. My partner was happy about it. Very, 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 very excited and happy. My family, especially my mom, knew about it because although I, I tried hiding it from her, going there going to see my mom I, I hid it for a few weeks but she already knew she's a mom she's my mother she knew my body changed and all um, so when i broke the news to her she just smiled and said yeah i know although i'm not happy with the news because you're supposed to get married in a few months and you're pregnant yeah um morning sickness i never had any morning sickness um i had cravings serious cravings like i i had so much to eat my mouth was always filled with food yeah my um, appointment to my gynecologist was very very necessary and um, it's very necessary for you to see your gynecologist being pregnant uh, i was very comfortable with my doctor and um, because it was my it's my first issue and I didn't want I didn't want to miss any appointment any day I just wanted to see him even when he, he was saying don't worry it's not necessary I wanted it to be necessary I just wanted okay let me know what's going on seeing your doctor at being pregnant at every stage is very important from the first trimester to the tour to the last you have to see your doctor it's very very important actually when I was, I think, um, 10 weeks or 8 weeks or 10 weeks, I ran a scan before, I, okay, I think I was, no, I, I was 6 weeks. I ran my first scan uh, at a random um, hospital around and um, they gave me, no, my, my second scan, sorry, they gave me a wrong um, result wrong information telling me my baby had no placenta it was very very crazy it was scary and all and because i couldn't reach i couldn't go to my own doctor's place i just wanted to because i was so eager to always see my baby take those scan i i literally ran like 15 scans if, I was, if i'm not going to exaggerate it was quite exciting so i had that um, information and it was very scary and um, they advised us to flush out the baby it was very scary so we almost did but on second thoughts i said okay let me go let me call my doctor and i called him and he said okay come see me tomorrow and i went there the next day and he told me no that's false news. very necessary for you to choose a very good hospital during your whole pregnancy process and um, so you don't avoid get, um, getting misled by or you avoid being misled like I was during my own process. 
so many people were nice to me, you know, in the, everywhere, church, office, in the house, everyone wanted to just help me with one thing or the other. I really appreciated that. You know? Yes, it was a very great change in the way people treated me. Um, my colleagues, they were very great, you know, they didn't want to stress me, anything that was stress me, no, Divine, don't do this, oh, don't worry, Divine, you can go home, oh, don't worry. My husband, oh, don't worry, I'll do this for you. He was very, very help helpful. He was, he was God at that moment. My family, my brothers, my sisters, my friends, they were very, very great, you know. Everybody was really supportive at that moment. I needed them, I needed everybody, and I got everybody. Everybody was really helpful. I got so many help and so many good will from people and in the aspect of um, going to the markets, you know, rather than stand, they'll tell you, no, come sit, come and sit down, yeah, baby, yeah, come and sit down. They'll give me extra, they'll say, oh, for the baby. It was really fun. I enjoyed the whole process, you know. I got so many things, my colleagues, my office, I had to start closing very very early i resumed later than the time i was resuming i was closing very early so i could get enough rest and um, they actually made me start my leave on time because they were actually pushing me to go start my leave my friends were always like oh go on leave. start your leave you have to start leave you have to go and rest you have to you know we want to see you smiling we want to see you shining we don't see you stressed out or not it was really it was really great yeah we actually wanted the same sex yeah, we wanted the same sex. We wanted a girl. I wanted a girl. He has always wanted a girl. And we got a girl. Like butterflies in my tummy. It was very, <laughs> it was very, very, very sweet. And it was very, very sweet for me. I literally cried because. I was like, yeah, this is the one, this is my child, this is going to be my first baby. And oh, it, was, it was interesting. It was a big deal, a very big deal, because <laughs> every time I'll go to the hospital and I'll ask the doctor, what's the sex? I said, don't worry, it's not yet time. I'll be sad until the big day. <laughs> the doctor said, my husband was there. So when he said it to a female, I was like, ah, oh, thank God. Uh, we all have different body systems, though. Mine was just there. I was I was not really I didn't really like it. Yeah, because I wasn't comfortable about the whole thing. Although I was being pressured by my not like pressured though, but my my doctor was would always say you have to do it. It's very compulsory for you, it will help you, it will help the baby, it will help the process. It was important. It's very, very important though. But I was just feeling so reluctant having the whole, to go through the whole process with my whole with my big tummy. It was just <laughs> it was just very very tiring for me though. My experience with labor hmm, it was bittersweet, like my mother would say. Um, I went into labor uh, at um, seven p.m major as in the major one was at 7 p.m although i was in the hospital a day before that time because um the doctor had to put me in the hospital for checkup and all so i had to just stay and so i was being checked i was at the hospital when i went into labor i was actually induced into labor because um i was just um five i was just um 3 cm open um for like um half a day for half a day i was just it was just slow opening so they had to induce me to speed up the whole process so the pain i so i i really can't explain how painful it is although we have different ways we everyone reacts to pain and every different ways will feel about it the way i felt is not the way another person would feel so my own pain was was painful yeah it's actually a reality um mine was mine took quite a while before i gave birth i 
I it started around um, I think majorly around um, seven I can remember when the doctor kept coming to ask me as at in the afternoon oh how far have you gone are you feeling pain I was still pressing my phone the doctor was like oh madam you're pressing your phone don't worry <laughs> when the pain starts you will not you will not see your phone you will look for it <laughs> I was like no doctor ah, I'll get used to I've, I've gotten used to it because I used to have um, serious um, menstrual pain my, my menstrual pain uh, my period used to be very painful so i just felt like i'm used to the pain i didn't know this one <laughs> would be times 10 of that same pain so when the pain started oh i actually looked for my phone <laughs> it was so crazy my husband was asking my mom what was going on <laughs> it was painful the whole experience was if i remember i just can't stop laughing remember remembering the whole process I, at the time I, I i i would tell my husband i want to sleep on the floor pour me cold water i want to lie down on the floor my back my it was it was funny and painful yeah i did have a vagina um delivery but i had uh an uh, episiotomy cut tear process of giving birth the reason was because i was really tired um, I, I am. Um, I threw up while um, in labor. The reason was because I ate before while I was in labor. I was very hungry. I I was not supposed to eat because the hospital actually advised me against it. But I went against their their words and went ahead to eat. Just a little dough, but it cost me. And. Um, I had I started throwing up just a few minutes after I started eating. I had I finished eating. I started throwing up. I threw up countless time and it made me weak. They had to inject on another in another drip to make to sustain me, give me that strength and all. So when it came to when the baby came, um it was not so it was not like it was hard though, but I was tired, you know, in the aspect of pushing, so they had to give me that cut and it helped me it was painful very 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 painful okay so after um delivery the stitching and all um i went home the next day yeah i gave birth on sunday so uh, yeah i went home on monday i gave birth at um 12 27 a.m on sunday on the 8th um, I left I went home on Monday and on on Thursday yes on Thursday my stitch um, reopened the reason was I was advised in the hospital not to sit on hot water because of due to what they use in stitching nowadays because what they use then is quite different from what they use now but everybody said it's good for you to sit on hot water sit in the hot water it's good my mom every literally everybody you know said sit on hot water fine i was tired of hearing sit, sit, sit. so i i followed the crowd and i sat and that was the biggest mistake of my life and it cost me two months Two months of pain because my stitch reopened three times I say twice because the third one the first one was after bed then the two reopened making two clo three closed stitches I the first one reopened or I think on the Wednesday or Thursday I went back to the hospital they restitched it and the third one reopened again because I think the my flesh was had become so soft and all although the hospital they were quite they were unhappy about the news me coming to meet them about a third a third restitch a third stitch 
it had never happened in the hospital and mine my case was their first case you know they had to really take their time examine me it was very painful i remember one time 2 a.m i had to i woke up in the that 2 a.m the pain i was actually holding my child and i just felt like i was just going to die the pain was terrible the pain was crazy my husband was actually crying because he was just seeing me living every fat <laughs> was actually painful i went back for the third stage i couldn't breastfeed my child i couldn't carry her i couldn't hold her if i want to breastfeed i would have to struggle and drag myself to sit up because i was being careful in order not for me not to you know make the stitch reopen again fortunately it reopened again that was the third one and during my whole birth process i didn't cry i tried not to cry even with the whole pain i never shed a tear but when they told me they were going to stitch the third the last one i cried like a baby that was when i shed serious tears it was a very bad experience for me it was a very very bad experience for me even everybody in the hospital just knew me because of that issue and i would really advise women out there especially if it's your first issue please go according to what your doctor tells you if your doctor says oh fine you can sit on hot water fine but if he says no do not sit on hot water please do not sit on hot water it's very very important very very important because i listened to so many people even when uh, it got to the part of you know people were saying oh you have to drink this to make your tummy go back drink that drink this drink that I had to close my ears from so many people and it helped me a lot so but giving but vaginal delivery CS whichever one it's just by the grace of God that we go in and come out safely it is not by our power actually it's just God's grace and I thank God for the whole process yeah any tips yeah, it, for me, the pain is unmanageable. You just have to help yourself. You just have to go through the whole pain because it's just for a few minutes or hours and you're done. Once the baby comes, the whole pain goes away. So although your, your doctor might tell you tips on how to lay, on how to manage yourself, manage the pain okay yeah some would actually want to go through the other process of um, taking some um, injections or painkillers to stop the pain whichever one works for you um, I had um, um, self-esteem issues because um, I was I used to be very very tiny really slim and i started increasing and increasing and increasing i i felt bad uh but my husband always told me it's a thing of joy you should be happy you're having a baby it's not like you're just sitting down getting fat and all you're okay like the way you are you know i had issues with my body my clothes were not fitting even when i gave birth my clothes are still not fitting though <laughs> but it's a thing of joy okay so when people um come on social media and say oh one month postpartum i'm like it's a lie yo <laughs> maybe <laughs> most people do surgery after birth most people because it doesn't just work like that for me it, it didn't work like that i tried I tried my possible best to get myself back in shape because you're breastfeeding you're eating so your baby can have something to eat too you don't just go back to how you were before most people do surgery to come out the way they were or better and what I would just say is please 
I don't I don't believe in what people post on social media or put, say everywhere just go through your own process and in your own comfort zone try to get your own body you can't you can't just get the body back within within a few months or few weeks you have to work for work towards getting your body back work towards it it's really hard it's hard work you know for me oh for me it's hard work yeah i really had to close my ears to so many things because so many people told me funny things like i remember someone telling me to hold stone <laughs> it's only when i'm walking at night if i want to go out in the night or um very early in the morning or when the sun is out i should hold like i think a gravel stone i should hold a stone to put to protect the baby from evil doers <laughs> yeah right and um someone else so many people talked about pain i should put um safety pin inside my clothes on just right on top of my tummy and um so many people said oh don't go under the sun or don't go out once it's 12. so many things and i just got tired of the whole thing i just felt like Nothing is going to happen to my child and I don't believe in stones or safety pins or those things. I actually believe in God and he is the one that gave me this child and it's not safety pin that will protect my child. That was why I just went on and I never followed those whole process. Yeah. Yeah, my partner was very, very supportive from day one till the final day till I gave birth. Um so many occasions i would have to wake him up at night my leg my back my waist and even with a sleepy eye he would just wake up and say sorry sorry cooking for me he did everything he did every he was very supportive and i can never replace him with anybody in this life because what he did for me, so many people, so many men will not do, do so many things he did for me. And I, I really appreciate it. And I'm really grateful to him. If I'm to choose a partner over and over again, I'll choose him. Yes, it's very, very worth it. Although, while I was going through pain, the nurse was like, oh, you will come back again. I said, no, I'm not coming back again. I don't want it again. But after the process, I said, ah, I'll try this again. Because then my mom, my mom was actually telling me, don't worry, after, after now, you will forget the pain. Although I don't, I can't forget the pain though. <laughs> I can't forget the pain, but remembering it, it's just, um, all I can just feel it, it's happiness, it's joy from within. You know, I just want to go through it again and feel that pain again and come out yes i would go i'll do it over and over again the best thing about being a mom is um having to see your baby every day you wake up you see your baby the baby smiles at you every day every minute even when you are sad you know and you see your baby your baby is smiling at you your baby is laughing playing with you it's very priceless. I can never trade the, being a mom for anything. I can't. It's, it's one thing I've always wanted in my life. And I'm in this moment now. And I really appreciate the moment. And I really appreciate every single mother out there. I've never, I never knew the pain or the joy and the joy of being a mother until I became a mother. It's really not easy. I I had to start thanking my mom. I kept, even when I was going through the pain, I kept telling her, oh, mommy, thank you. Mommy, God will bless you. Mommy, you've done so well. Five children. Oh, my God. Mommy, thank you. I just kept saying this. I kept rubbing her waist. <laughs> While she was rubbing my back, I was rubbing her back. I was saying, mommy, thank you. It was, it's, it's a very great experience. Okay, my advice for mothers out there will be just trust in God. Just put your trust in God. 
pregnancy is a beautiful thing being a mother is, a, is the most beautiful thing ever is the most priceless thing ever just um don't stress yourself don't overwork yourself just try not to listen to every single thing that everyone tells you try not to just ask your doctors or your doctor is this is this okay is this should i do this should i not everybody you see or everybody everybody's experience is different your own will be different just put your mind at rest and let the process come it will come and go and it's a beautiful thing remember that i'm giving a very big shout out to all the expecting mothers out there all the expecting daddies out there all the expecting families out there uh i wish you the very best of luck may god see you through the whole process you would give it to your child safely and sound thank you so much thank you